Hello folks, hope you're all doing great. Uh, in this short video, uh, I'm going to fix some of the issues with uh, my Google AdSense account. In previous video, uh, I have explained how to change the region for uh, your AdSense account since I have moved recently to Melbourne, Australia. So I had to change the region. Uh, if you want to change the region and country for your uh, AdSense account, then you need to watch that video. It's going to help you how to do that easily. And uh, since I have changed, uh, so I basically created a new account and you cannot change that, uh, which I have explained there why. Uh, here uh, with the new account, there are some issues I need to fix. These are some issues that we need to fix. Uh, in this video specifically, uh, we are going to fix uh, this one. This is the issue. Uh, like you need to add some HTML codes from your AdSense account to your website which is a WordPress website. I have solved these issues there. If you are using a Wix website, there is another video. I just put the link in the description. And if you're uh, using WordPress website, just I'm gonna show you how to add uh, uh, some script. It can be from Google AdSense. It can be some codes from JavaScript or CSS or whatever. How to add them in your website, how to integrate them in your website. So there are ways that I'm going to, going to explain uh, all of them. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to show the, how to fix these issues, these problems like earning at risk for a WordPress website. And there is uh, also you need to verify your address. They're going to send a, a PIN code to your mailing address. You need to verify that. Uh, there is a video. I will put the link in the description for uh, PIN verification. And also there is some other things that I have to do. We encourage you to establish a seller information. Uh, this is a, a seller.json file. So in other videos, I'm gonna fix them. Specifically in this video, we are going to fix this one, adding this HTML code uh, which, to our website header. Uh, all right, okay, so I have already fixed. So I got some screenshots. We are going to follow step by step and make sure to follow the video till the end. Uh, this is the issue, like uh, this is my website and it has a subdomain. I need to add this HTML code to the header, to the header, inside the header tag for my main website, main domain and the subdomains, all the subdomains. But uh, sometimes if you add it only to your main domain, uh, so it's working, but sometimes it is not working. Uh, so you need to add this script to the subdomain header, uh, inside the subdomain header tags as well. Uh, all right. so. Uh, when you click need attention, then you can click show details and then it will show this code, this script. You need to copy this and go to the back end of your WordPress website. Uh, I have uh, a note here, like there are two methods that you can add the codes to your uh, website, WordPress website. The first one is the easy way is to use a plugin. There are a lot of plugins, the most uh, Famous ones are Insert Header and Footer, another one is Header and Footer Code Manager, and another one is WP, WP Code, WP Code, Insert Header, Footer, and Code Snippets. So this is the easy way, but another way is that you can edit uh, your team or your child team. Simply you can go to the backend appearance, and then you need to file, uh, go to the team file editor. Then you need to find the uh, uh, header.php if you are adding the code inside the header tag and then you find the closing tag for header and then add the code okay we will go through uh, both of these methods uh, let me go to my website backend this is my website backend the first method is just you need to add a plugin well you go to the plugins and add new and here you search for the plugin like uh, header header footer just search, there are a lot of plugins. And you can see these are all the plugins here for a code manager. And the one which I use is uh, this one. This, this one I have installed already. So once you install it, it's ready. Then you go to find the code snippet. Click on that. All right, and in here you can see header and footer, library, generator, also we, what we need is header and footer. And this is the snippet code, the HTML code from Google AdSense, which I have pasted here. 
Uh, okay, so this is the first method that you're using plugin. And another method, like if you're really good with the WordPress and sometimes bringing changes to the source code for the team, uh, it will somehow adversely affect on your website and your website may, may be starting malfunctioning. All you need to do is just go to appearance, here it is, and click team editor. In here on the right side, try to find the header.php which is this one, yes. Click on it, then find the header uh, closing tag, which is here, just uh, put some space and paste your code here. Uh, so this is the second method and then you can just update the file. For now, I use the plugin because I'm using a Flatsum team and the license is, uh, it's, uh, it is not working properly. So I need to purchase a new license for this. So I don't want to bring changes to the team for now. Uh, yeah, so, it's just simple, not very complicated. Uh, thank you for watching. Just make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I will be fixing this all issues with the AdSense. And uh, yeah, you can watch those videos if you need it. And every now and then I'm uploading videos related to press, e-commerce, uh, Google AdSense, YouTube. So make sure to subscribe and I'm sure you're gonna find my content extremely useful. And thank you again and have a good time.